It's time for the Wacky Wiki Happy Hour. Here I am. Let's talk some TV today. I used to love TV, watch TV. Growing up as a kid, watch cartoons every Saturday morning, and then in the afternoon you watch the... Well, up north we had a um, Sir Graves Ghastly, and he would put on a scary movie, like B-class movie, and it was hilarious. But, and then we had the ghoul too, and the ghoul would put on a scary movie on Saturday afternoon. Or maybe it was Saturday late night. But anyways, I used to love Saturday mornings, lived for Saturday mornings and cartoons. And then during the weekdays or whatever, watch sitcoms. I love sitcoms. It's really sad now, some of the sitcoms that they have out there just aren't funny. Or they have to be dirty to be funny. They have to use the F word, if they, they have to use, in, insinuate uh, jokes about certain body parts to be funny. And back in the day it was all clean and it was, you know, it was still funny. Look at I Love Lucy as a classic. I Love Lucy had the best slapstick, um, you know, prank comedy that anybody could ask for as far as I'm, and that and another one that was really good was MASH with their slapstick and prank comedy and both those shows I'm so I'm glad that you can still see reruns of both of them and those are the classics that I'm talking about nowadays it's just like you gotta say the F word you gotta say the S you know shit or you gotta say uh, I don't know something about somebody's penis or something you know it's just like why? That's not funny. But, well, to some people with a weird mind, dirty mind, or always in the gutter, that might be funny. But to me, I just like the classics. And, you know, speaking of classics, there were some good sitcoms out there. And some of the, the um, theme songs from those sitcoms have, have been cl come classics, like Cheers, or like... Family Ties, or for instance, this one. Green Acres is the place to be. Farm living is the life for me. Land spreading out so far and wide. Keep my hand just giving that countryside. New York is where I'd rather stay. Oh, I gather allergic smelling hay. I just adore a penthouse view. Darling, I love you, but give me Park Avenue. Da -da 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 -da. The chores. Da -da 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 -da. The stores. Da -da 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 -da. Fresh air. Da -da -da -da. Times Square. You are my wife. Goodbye, city life. Green Acres, we are there. That's a classic. And, you know, I just don't know where these shows went to, but I wish they could bring them back. Once in a blue moon, you get maybe a rerun of something like Andy Griffith show or um, Lassie or um, Three's Company. Three's Company was a good one. John Ritter was hilarious. That's another good slapstick crank comedy. Um, let me see. Here's another classic song. You weren't a 70 kid, a 70 kid without knowing this song. Let me tell you a story about a man named Jed. Poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food. Up from the ground come the bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold, Texas tea. Well, the next thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. Can folks say Jed moved away from there? Ain't California the place you ought to be? So he loaded up the truck and he moved to Beverly Hills, that is. Swimming pools and movie stars. Who didn't know that song? That was a classic. And the other one that I don't know all the words to, another classic was Gilligan's Island. That show was not my favorite, but it was okay. And of the Brady Bunch, who, who didn't see the Brady Bunch? And then they come out with the Brady Bunch movie and so on. But anyways, I just love the sitcoms. And cartoons is another thing. Like I said, I lived for Saturday morning. The Wacky Racers. Bugs Bunny. Um, 
Hong Kong Fui. Um, Smurfs, not so much. Uh, let me see, what else did we used to watch? Scooby Doo. Who doesn't know Scooby Doo? But nowadays it seems like the animation has gone to hell. I mean, I know five year olds that can probably drive, draw some of the animation that they use in cartoons today. And if it's not the animation, it's just like the characters don't make sense. And, or the story doesn't make sense. Uh, Bugs Bunny was always my one, you know, and he had Wile E. Coyote on there and uh, Foghorn Leghorn and um, my husband does a good Foghorn Leghorn uh, impression and if he does a video with me sometime, I'll have to get him to do that. Marvin Martian was another one that I liked. Uh, let me see. Felix the Cat. That was an old goodie. The Pink Panther Show cartoon was a good one. But anyways, and then later on in the years, the, I think I quit watching cartoons when it came to um, the Warner Brother cartoons with uh, Wacko, Yakko, and Dot. And then they had like, um, you know, little side shows like Pinky and the Brain and... Um, the squirrel, which I can't remember the squirrel's name. Oh my god, talking about squirrels, one of my favorite animated squirrels is Scrat from the Ice Age movies. I love Scrat, he's so hilarious. And he's always after that darn acorn and he, he gets it in his grasp and then something happens and it gets away from him again. But anyways, one of my favorite Bugs Bunny cartoons is where he's in a castle and there's a mad scientist creating a creature and they break a bottle of ether and they breathe in this ether and then they're floating through the castle all in slow motion I'm gonna get you rabbit and Bugs Bunny's floating along and he's like nighty night it's so cute that's one of my favorites Wile E. Coyote was always one of my favorites oh Pepe Le Pew was always one of my favorites I love Pepe Le Pew and then, of course, my other favorite animated characters would be anything from Disney, or pretty much anything from Disney. Some of the animation in Disney even gets me down nowadays. It's not like the old classics like Bambi and the, you know, old Mickey Mouse cartoons and um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. They've gone off and done some, like, more like Japanimation animation at Disney. I guess that I guess you, that's what you call it. Maybe it's called that Japanese anime. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking about TV. I I just wish they could bring back some of the classics and I, some of the ones that they're trying to remake. I don't understand why they're even remaking them because they weren't good the first time. They didn't last. So why would you think they're going to be good and last a second time around? Give me a break. It's just like these old wash-up stars are like, oh yeah, we can do this again. And then, you know, grasping at straws because they need money. Alright, well, I guess that's my rant about TV and the classics and so on and so forth. Till next time. Have a good day and bring back your friends and come see me sometime.